Asina manzi, asina case. Kandilendo besi vote la yeibi. There have been 21 farm attacks in KwaZulu Natal this year alone. But in the end of the police are not going to pay. Our fish are going to pay. Guys know that they can get away with it. Our police are corrupt. The South African state, in its current form, does not drive the economy. 7.1 million people are now officially unemployed in the country. Government isn't looking after us at all. Who is South Africa? South Africa is corruption. South Africa is load shedding and tenderpreneurship, looting and commissions of inquiry. South Africa is racial tensions and stolen pensions. And those in power have abandoned us in pursuit of champagne and riches. Last elections, more of us chose not to vote than those who did. You and your government don't represent me. You represent your own interests. And I'm warning you, I really am warning you, out of love. I am warning you like I warned the nationalists. I am warning you. One day, we will start praying for the defeat of the ANC government. You are disgraceful. We are tired and the party is over. It is time to make a choice. Will we choose our friends and neighbors instead of cronies? Choose opportunities instead of exploitation? Choose the best South Africa and not its worst. And for the first time we can, as our law is about to change for good. In future, you might no longer have to be part of a political party to stand in national election. Many voters are unaware of the fact that independent candidates have always been allowed to stand in local elections. Those who came before us pointed to the mountain top. It is now time for us as South Africans to grab the flag and run up that mountain together. The truth is political parties are the minority and we are the majority. It is time that we take back our power from political parties. Because we know who South Africa really is. South Africa is seven colors and drop suspensions. Amachita and Vrpa. South Africa is bright place. South Africa is, we can, and we will. South Africa is not just about fighting. It's about finding something worth fighting for. It has been said that the only thing needed for evil to prevail is for good men and women to do nothing. Are you going to allow our municipalities, provinces and country to deteriorate? Or are you going to stand up, fight with us to liberate and give back power to the people? We're talking about a revolution without bullets. Many people ask if an independent model could succeed. The answer is yes. It has already been proven in numerous towns that independent organizations and councillors work very well. Practically, how does this work? An independent candidate could stand in a ward representing the residents of that ward. In some cities or towns, Groups of concerned citizens have come together to form independent Section 15 organizations. It must be stressed that they are not political parties. They remain civil organizations with one goal, and that is to represent the residents and the well-being of one municipal area only. We simply have to choose the best possible team to govern our cities and towns. Why is this better than political parties? Political parties will always have a bigger agenda because they have to report to their respective national leaders who know nothing about your town or what. But an independent organization stays accountable to the people of that specific municipal region. 
there have been many other efforts to turn towns and cities around. Like for instance, the Sierra Kalmatua Bank Community Forum, who successfully revitalized their town. But even though this forum tried to encourage cooperation from their local government, almost no assistance was offered by the government. This method is costing the residents hundreds of thousands of rands, and it seems like this model will only be sustainable if the local government is willing to cooperate. Therefore, some of the residents from Sienaco took hands with the other towns in their municipality, namely Fixburg, Marquardt and Klokkelaan, to form the Sitsoto Service Delivery Forum to contest the local elections. In Costa, the residents won a case and they took control over their water and sanitation. As a result, they spent close to 12 million rand that possibly they will never see again. In many other towns and cities, protest marches turned into riots and the only result was loss of income and damage to property. That's why we propose that the best way forward is electing worthy councillors and new local governments in the coming local elections. Let us change the country from the bottom to the top. All these candidates and organizations encourage strong public participation. It starts by registering to vote, then you vote. If you do not vote, you are not part of the solution. If we miss this opportunity, the next chance is only five years from now. By then, it might be too late. Currently in South Africa, 163 municipalities are under financial duress. 108 have unfunded budgets and 29 municipalities are currently under administration. The good news is that 966 independent candidates and more than 100 community forums have registered for this election. Barack Obama said change will not come if we wait for some other person or if we wait for some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. South Africa.